Listen up, TPS fans. We're doing a giveaway. We're giving away either Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Step one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Step two, this video needs 5,000 likes. Once we reach 5,000 likes, we give away a copy of Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Before we give away the game, you need to comment because we'll pick a random winner from the comments. The winners will be announced on the TPS Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram social media pages. So follow there as well. Good luck, TPSers. When you were a kid, you probably told your friends, first is the worst, second is the best. Well, when it comes to the NFL draft, it's often considered a luxury when you pick first and not second. But that thing about second being the best, we do have a number of NFL legends who can relate. I'm Daquan Young, and today we present the 10 greatest number two selections in NFL history. Here's a brief look at four honorable mentions. Von Miller, 2011. Absolute sack machine. The heart and soul of the Denver Broncos Super Bowl 50 championship team. Donovan McNabb, 1999. Six Pro Bowls, and he led the Philadelphia Eagles to five NFC championship appearances. Julius Peppers, 2002. One of the best pass rushers of the 21st century. Peppers won the 2004 NFC Defensive Player of the Year and was named to nine Pro Bowls over his first 14 seasons. From 2002 to 2016, he had 143 and a half sacks and 47 forced fumbles. Calvin Johnson, 2007. The only problem is, why do you retire so early? No receiver dominated corners and safeties over the past 10 years more than Megatron. George Coons, 1969. One of the most dominant offensive tackles ever. He was named to eight Pro Bowls. Number 10, Tom Mack, 1966. Because he was an offensive lineman, one of the most overlooked positions in sports, Mack's legacy isn't discussed as much as it should be. The Hall of Famer spent his whole career with the Los Angeles Rams from 1966 to 1978. He was named to 11 Pro Bowls and was a four-time first-team All-Pro and four-time second-team All-Pro. The guy's pretty smart, too, getting an engineering degree at the University of Michigan after his retirement. Number nine. Y.A. Tittle, 1951. Tittle is one of the first quarterbacks to revolutionize the position as a pure pocket passer. He was named to seven Pro Bowls and was the 1963 AP NFL MVP and led the league in passing touchdowns three times. Tittle turned the New York Giants into a powerhouse, guiding them to three NFL championship appearances. Though the team lost all three games, Tittle finished his career with 28,339 passing yards and 212 touchdowns, which were impressive numbers during that era. Number eight. Joe Namath, 1965. Most only know him as the guy who correctly guaranteed that his New York Jets would shock the 18-point favorite Baltimore Colts in Super Bowl III. A two-time AFL MVP, Namath led the NFL in both passing yards and touchdowns in the 1972 season, and he was named the 1974 NFL Comeback Player of the Year. The gang green legend finished with 27,663 yards and 173 touchdowns. Number seven, Tony Dorsett, 1977. Few running backs were as slick and flashy in their primes as Dorsett. The four-time Pro Bowler won Super Bowl XII with the Dallas Cowboys scoring a touchdown in the big game. The Hall of Famer rushed for 1,000 yards eight times. Dorsett finished with 12,739 rushing yards, 99 rushing touchdowns, 3,554 receiving yards, and 13 touchdown receptions. Number six, Marshall Falk, 1994. The Indianapolis Colts should have never traded him to the Rams. Can you imagine Falk and Peyton Manning playing more than one year together? Falk and Kurt Warner formed the greatest show on turf offense in 1999, leading the franchise to a Super Bowl 34 championship. Falk was the 2000 NFL MVP and a three-time Offensive Player of the Year. He finished with 12,279 yards and 100 touchdowns, easily one of the most complete running backs ever. Number five, Randy White, 1975. The star defensive tackle and linebacker turned the Dallas Cowboys into America's team in the 70s. He was named to nine Pro Bowls and was a nine-time first-team All-Pro. White led the Cowboys to a Super Bowl XII championship, being named co-MVP with Harvey Martin. The Hall of Famer finished with 111 sacks and was named to the 1980s All-Decade team. Number four, Eric Dickerson, 1983. The Los Angeles Rams really changed the course of history by taking Dickerson in 1983. Many people today only remember him for his 2,105 rushing yards in 1984, the most in a single season, but Dickerson did far more. Six Pro Bowl selections, three NFC Offensive Player of the Year awards, and a four-time NFL rushing leader. Dickerson ranked seventh all-time in rushing yards with 13,259 and 13th all-time in rushing touchdowns with 90. Number three, Sid Luckman, 1939. Luckman pioneered the quarterback position and football in general 
by turning it into a more pass-heavy game. He played his entire career with the Chicago Bears from 1939 to 1950. Luckman was the 1943 league MVP and led the Bears to four NFL championships in 1940, 41, 43, and 46. He led the league in touchdowns and passing yards three times and was named to the 1940s All-Decade Team. Number two, Merlin Olsen, 1962. This star defensive tackle has a career resume that few other stars on defense will ever be able to match. Olsen was named to 14 Pro Bowls and six first-team All-Pro selections, as well as the 1960s and 70s All-Decade Team. Olsen revolutionized the defensive tackle position as a world-class run stopper. Number one, Lawrence Taylor, 1981. NFL.com listed him as the third greatest player ever. It's hard for us to disagree. Just look at Taylor's resume. 10 first team all pro selections, two Super Bowl championships with the New York Giants, the 1986 league MVP, three defensive player of the year awards, and 132 and a half career sacks. Taylor is undoubtedly the greatest defensive player in NFL history. I mean, he revolutionized the pass rush. To be honest, he was the easy number one choice for us. What other great number two selections did we leave off this list? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we truly appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around with Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.